2K20 has been out for a while now, but the Coronavirus 2K tournament has had me playing again. Goodbye news. Goodbye news. I'm 15. Stop playing with me, man. I'm the best ever. I rarely ever come across centers who can keep up with me, and I don't understand why centers under 99 overall exist. They are tremendously overpowered if used correctly. So I came up with my top 10 tips for leveling up your big man as quickly as possible. In this video, you'll see the center I created on May 2nd of 2020. And by May 7th of 2020, he was a 99 overall with all of his badges maxed out. Possibly a record. Regardless, let's get into this video. The number one key to doing this as quickly as possible is to just grind my career. I know it will eventually get boring, but it is by far the quickest way to level up your attribute points, and it will also make you a better 2k player. It's especially easy when leveling up from 95 to 99. Seriously, you just blow by it. There's no reason to be a 95 overall. Number two. Go to a team that fits your build and role. Do your homework ahead of time. Know whose spot you're going to be taking from the starting five. If that's too much work for you to do, just go to the Lakers like everybody else does. <laughs> My top three teams for your My Career player to go to to make it easy on you would definitely be the Lakers, the Nets, and the Houston Rockets. Also, eventually you will be able to influence free agency. I suggest you go after an 80 to an 85 overall player with a high shooting ability. This has landed me Luke Kennard and Buddy Hield. 2K is dumb, and they will hand you a decent player if you just ask nicely. Get the correct badges for your player. You can read into detail in each one, but personally, these are the badges I use for my lockdown interior force center. It's important you manipulate your attribute overalls for the maximum amount of badges for your player. Also, some badges are important for my career and some are more important for my part. But don't worry, whenever you max out all of your badges, you are allowed to adjust them at any time. Number four, manage your team chemistry and fans. You wanna keep your team chemistry above 80% so your teammates will pass you the ball whenever you ask for it and you're able to do a team takeover. So while your team chemistry is above 80%, you want to be a complete sellout for fans. More fans means more incentives, VC, and bad acting. Yo, man, that was nice work out there, man. Yeah, LeBron. Appreciate you, SA. Thanks, hombre. Appreciate you. Dang. It's all I can do, you know? What's up, SA? Appreciate it, hombre. Alright, peace. Alright, SA. Y'all be easy. Cranberry. There are also several in-game fan incentive marks. I suggest you look out for these milestones in-game. The ones that I like to go after are 15 assists, triple-double, 15 rebounds, but generally, I just go for a 30 points, 20 rebounds, 15 assists type of game, and I play 9 minute quarters. I had this stat line on about every game that I played over the past 100 games in the past 5 days, and that's how I level up so quickly. Then when I negotiate, I take out all the store discounts, and if they pull their offer, I just close out of the game. Just cheat. Number 5. Don't waste VC. You don't need on-court celebrations. This isn't Fortnite. Bye. Just stick to tugging on Casper, the two friendly ghosts, after every highlight and you'll be fine. If anything, buy one dunk package that fits your style of play. For me, I bought Shaq. Cost me 2400 VC and then I never looked into buying dunks until I was 99 overall. Early on, you will want to dump all of your VC into your stats with the highest ceiling. Those stats are the most important. Number six, adapt and learn the computer's defense. Often on Hall of Fame difficulty, the defense will have Helen Keller attacks and lose the star player they are guarding, giving you an easy assist. When you get a defensive rebound, you need to push the floor, even as a center. You want to cause as many mismatches as possible, and when they start to bend you over with a double team, just be ready to icon pass out of it to the open man. Even with my Ellen DeGeneres ball handling skills, I led the league in assists as a rookie. Number 7. Increase the game difficulty when you feel ready. The multiplier is definitely worth it, and the CPU defense doesn't improve by much. They just make more shots on offense. Personally, I like to wait until I'm around 87 overall before I go up to Hall of Fame. Anytime before that, and I know Guillermo will just be molested, and it's not fun to watch. Number eight, look for alley-oops. You have to learn what an open lob looks like. If your man is helping off with his shoulders pointing towards the ball, you're open. If a white guy is guarding you or a short defender is guarding you in the paint, just spam Y. It's probably going to work. Alley-oop pass gives you a ton of fans, and an alley-oop dunk gives you a ton of fans. You need to look for these because fans give you attribute points. Fans mean everything in this game. A VC method. Um, a VC method, if you're interested in this, if you just kind of want to cheat your way out of it, uh, I suggest you just play up until the point that it allows you to simulate through the entire season. If you don't make the playoffs, even better. Either way, you're going to be offered a 1,000 VC contracts 
at the end of next year and you will get an automatic thousand VC for every game you play. Whether you foul out, play a decent game, I usually get around 2000 VC now per game. Number 10, B, speed. E, speed. Cut through as many cutscenes as possible. The scenes after the first two weeks are pointless. It's what I imagined Ronnie 2K would be like if he were an NBA star. C Cousins is such a dick. Like, I can see him just being like, I don't want to fucking do this. 2K commentation has come a long way, but it's very repetitive and it makes you want to jump onto a pointy building. Oh my god! Oh I like to play 2K while watching Netflix on another screen. During my five days leveling up, I managed to watch all of these movies. Fun with Dick and Jane, The Last Kingdom, Above the Rim, Get Him to Greet, Ace Ventura, The Stanford Prison Experiment, Urban Cowboy, Back to the Future, 1, 2, and 3, Freedom Riders, Hamburger Hill, every James Charles video I could get my lotion up hands on. <clears throat> you may not have the opportunity to play for 13 hours straight for five days in a row like I did, but if 99 overall is something you're working towards, you might as well do it as quickly and efficiently as possible. So I hope this helps. Feel free to leave any tips of your own in the comments, but until next time, I'm gonna go stab you. People in Assassin's Creed.